From Jack Parker Rink, it is Hockey Night on Aganis Way for the first time in three weeks. Bernie Corbett, Mark Linehan, glad you could join us here on ESPN Plus as the Terriers get ready for the challenge of the Merrimack College Warriors. It came all the way out, but Comesso with a good recovery to stop the second one. Jeffries with a shot there, puck deflected and a goal. Right a long stretch from Messner, couldn't connect. Comesso out to play it. Played around, but right on the path and a goal from a oh. half wall. It just bled through Comesso. Looks for an escape route, cleared it, and had it picked off by Matt Brown. Brown with a shift, Brown clears for a shot go. and a goal! Matt Brown, top shelf! And the Terriers bust out with their first one to cut the lead. Up over the line comes Green, makes the drop. Quinn Hudson, deals it back. Lane Hudson, they it set it to Green and a goal! Oh. Ryan Green from the hash marks. Beats Olas and the Terriers tie it. They still have 316. We both know what happens next. They get that next one. Yeah, exactly. Ten seconds left. Wilmer's got a hurry. And they get it to the cage. Five seconds. Wilmer pulls up. Let her gets rip. it back. Lane Hudson with a shift. Shot oh. gonna go! Lane Hudson beats the buzzer at the end of the second period. And the Terriers claim the lead. This Ricochet for the Terriers because it gets the Warriors jump started right away. Jeffries to the middle, far side. Finney with the save. Puck is loose and a goal. The Warriors tie it on the power play. Five seconds left. Brayer down low. They center one. Bouncing puck. Shot in front and a goal. Oh, two seconds. Two, two tenths. One tenth of a second. 4 3 in overtime here tonight. Four uh, Coach, it wasn't a great look from where we were. You guys were, was the review for. They might have too many men. Uh, the review for uh, the guy jumping out uh, too early before the goalie got to the bench. Um, at that point, it's he definitely jumped a little early. Um, I'm not exactly how the uh, sure how the rule reads, um, but I, I think the player has to have an advantage when he jumps on the ice. I think the guy that jumped on the ice is the one that scored. Um, so we'll have to talk to the officials what the actual rule is. But at that point, it's worth challenging. Last night you talked about kind of working a little bit harder for pucks down low, getting bodies to the net. Despite tonight's outcome, do you guys do you think the guys did a better job of that? Definitely. I, I thought we started finding our game. There's no question. Um, I thought we did a better job of you know getting pucks there and actually getting bodies there. I mean, their goalie played well. We you know we had some you know clear chances right in front of them in the third. We just couldn't find a way to to get that um, you know take the lead there. And what did Matt Brown's goal do for the bench? Yeah, it gave us a little life. Um, you know, we got down two nothing again, so that's that's always difficult. I, I thought we were playing okay at the time, and you know, I think we just needed one to, to to get our confidence. I think our guys have been squeezing the sticks a little bit lately. You know, the goals haven't been going in as easy for us, so that definitely gave us a little bit of life. So it was nice to see our guys respond and come back. You know, we took the lead, and you know, it was tough there, uh, giving up that power play goal. I thought for us, I don't, I don't, I know we scored two power play goals, but. At the end of the day, I don't think the power play was good enough uh, again tonight. I think we were at two for seven, uh, five minute major. I think we had a three minute uh, after the four, on, it was four and four for two minutes. Um, having two late in the third, uh, we just have to capitalize. There was like a combined 80 penalty minutes this weekend. Can you talk about this matchup and the physicality of it? Yeah, they're a physical team. Um, you know, they're they're in your face. So I think it's just a, it's just, the guys getting, you know, after two nights, guys are going to get in each other's faces, and, and, and there's going to be a lot of penalties called, and that's what happened. When Vinny goes in for the second, what was uh, the thinking behind that? More, just a spark more than anything else. I just thought, you know, we were down two nothing. Um, just a spark more than anything. I don't, I, I know both goals that went in on Drew were kind of deflection, so just one of those things. Like try to get a spark for our team. Once, once you hit the, the beat on it, it seems like. College hockey season really seems to accelerate down the stretch here. Do you feel like, does it seem like the intensity is ratcheted up even more uh, as you go into these last two weeks? Yeah, no question. I, I think that, you know, the longer the season goes on, teams start, you know, competing harder defensively. Um, you know, teams have seen each other all year uh, long, they know how the teams play. So I, I definitely think it uh, picks up the intensity. And, and I think for us, we have to start matching that with the teams we're playing against. Um, I thought tonight we definitely played a more desperate game. So I was happy to happy with that. You know, obviously not happy with the result, but I thought our guys came to play tonight. Thank you.